Hello and welcome to the 971 podcast series, which will be brought to you by ECA in anticipation of its ECA Congress in Abu Dhabi. My name is Ksenia Pola and I will be kicking off the 971 podcast series as your host today. Why 971, you may ask? The number is more than just uh, an area code for Abu Dhabi. It is bringing together the rich heritage of Abu Dhabi and the UAE and setting Abu Dhabi as the scene for the dynamic global stage it is. The, the aim is to bring to you nine minutes of inspiring conversations, seven months leading up to the ICA Congress in October to anticipate this one big event, uh, the ECA Congress from 20 to 23rd of October. And then without further ado, we will bring this to you uh, every fourth Wednesday of the month. And we will keep on promoting this uh, as of the third Wednesday of every month. And my first guest today is within our business uh, trends and growth pillar, Julius Solaris. Welcome to our 971 podcast series. Before we get started, can you please tell us a little bit more about yourself? Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for having me, Xenia. Such a pleasure to be here with the ICA community. I'm such a fan. I'm Julius Solaris. I'm the founder of uh, Bolt Push. Bolt Push is my third business in the events industry after Event MB, now called Skift Meetings, and uh, a small startup in technology as well. And so my passions are content for the events industry and technology in the events industry. I've been working for a lot of tech companies and working with a lot of tech companies as a consultant as well. And uh, I run a newsletter with 11,000 subscribers as we speak, event professionals. And uh, I do a lot of analysis and research, whether it's trends, technology, anything that is changing in the events industry and trying to make sense out of it for the wider industry community. Perfect. And this leads uh, straight into our first question. Because of that vast experience you've had over the years and, and uh, having that pulse, um, that finger on the pulse of business uh, trends, what are you seeing today uh, in the world in terms of business trends? How do you see that affecting our business events? And how do you think this is leading up to your session at the Congress at Abu Dhabi? Absolutely. Great question. So I feel first off, like uh, one of the, um, there's three trend, trends defining what is happening in the industry right now. So number one is obviously um, the post-pandemic uh, work from home, hybrid work situation definitely having an impact on events. Why? Because in many cases, there's no offices anymore and events are becoming the new offices, the new offsite opportunity uh, to go and meet as a team and uh, have that experience that is missing in many cases because of remote work. And so you will find that there's a renewed interest for whatever revolves around incentives, as well as, you know, purely attending events together that has a ton of implications for event professionals from marketing group tickets and like opportunities for teams to come together to really redefining what that experience looks like for larger groups as opposed to individual attendees, which used to be the case before. So that's continuing. A second uh, trend uh, post-pandemic, uh, it's definitely the, the impact of uh, what happened during the pandemic and staying at home. Obviously, we saw the pendulum swinging back again to in-person big time. We've had incredible couple of years that nobody expected at that level uh, with that level of acquisitions of event companies, shows breaking records year after year. So that's all great. So, But we have to see what is going to happen next. Like what this year is going to be crucial to understand where we are, is it just the pendulum swinging or are we entering a new phase, a new era for the events industry per se with this renow renewed interest for experiences? This is across the board. Even if you look at travel, you know, despite an incredibly high inflationary environment as well as 
two major wars, conflicts happening right now, still there's this interest for travel experiences, in-person experiences. And so how long will it last? Are we peaking? What is happening? Like we'll be meeting in Abu Dhabi and we'll have much clearer detail in terms of like what happened during 2024 and what 2025 looks like. Because obviously one of the reasons why we gather, this is the perfect timing in Abu Dhabi, end of October is also looking at what 2025 looks like. And that's gonna be so important. Another trend that I wanna keep an eye on between now and then and present you sort of the latest uh, research on is the crisis of event staffing and finding people in the industry. It's so difficult to find people that wanna work in events right now and retaining talent. We lost a lot of talent during the pandemic. Recent research showed how almost 30% of, uh, of, uh, of event workers are either considering career change or leaving the industry altogether. That's a lot of people that we're gonna lose in the next year. And how do we replace those? You know, we're not traditionally an industry where people want to work for. It's very stressful. So we have to redefine what it means working in events as an industry. And ICA is going to be a fantastic opportunity to do that. And we only have nine minutes. But if uh, we, uh, and you led this perfectly into my next question, all those trends and challenges for our industry what would you say here within a very short time frame, within 30 seconds, what are some of the practical tips uh, people should already look out for anticipating the ECA Congress connected to all of those trends you have just mentioned? So what I want you to think about is first off, like this explosion of events, this boom of events means that there's a ton of events happening. There's a lot of competitions. And so I'm seeing from, from the other side, a lot of clients I'm working with, I'm actually having slow registrations. So events like especially legacy events coming from the previous, before the pandemic, we're in a completely different environment. We're not in 2019 anymore. It's 2024 and things have changed for good. So being very strategic, digitally savvy, content-driven events today means being future-friendly in a sense. Whatever you think you have that mentality of build it and they will come, they won't. Um, you know, we've seen a ton of events that are actually struggling with presences because they thought they just throwing some speakers together, having the usual same old, what kind of convert into audiences because of the boom of in-person. Well, you may experience that there's new competitors entering the game and they get very aggressive. They're, they're charging less. They're, they're targeting your same sponsors with you know, better offers. And so what do you do, right? How do you do that? Um, being competitive, rethinking the experience, being aggressive with the marketing, creating a sense of urgency, showing up there, knowing that people are deciding late as well. We've seen, uh, we ran an analysis with our database in Bull Push. We asked 250 top event professionals. Some said that people make a decision to register um, to the event 12 days before the event. So in the week before to two weeks before the event, and this is becoming the norm, the standard. So early birds are not working anymore. So you have to build for those two final two weeks. You have to build for like dynamic price pricing, be reactive, being flexible. At the end of the day, it goes back to that. Perfect. And I'm sure we could be talking about uh, so many other things, but people will just have to come to Abu Dhabi, our host city, between 20 and 23rd of October to hear more because Julius has definitely whetted your appetites and, and it couldn't be uh, for business purposes in a better city than Abu Dhabi, which is really at the center uh, of uh, where business trends and growth, innovation and technology come together. We look forward to, to gathering with everybody in Abu Dhabi. Remember, this is just more than an event. It, it's a chance for everybody to be part and be at the heart of our industry's uh, transformation. Please make sure to secure your spot. And uh, thank you for joining us today. Your engagement and curiosity are what makes our community and business events industry uh, really thrive. Thank you, Julius, so much for joining me today and looking forward to, to having you in Abu Dhabi.
Thank you. I can't wait.